it's your favorite crew, it's Ivo Ayo, and I'm coming to you with another financial journey video. Why everyone needs an emergency fund. So if you have taken a financial peace university class, you know that Dave Ramsey talks about having the mini emergency fund right away. Getting thousand dollars in your savings account and not touching it leaving it there for a rainy day um, and then once you have finished baby step two which is paying off your debts then you want to fully fund your emergency fund with three to six months of income that covers all of your expenses because rainy days are going to come and we must plan for it we must be prepared for it as much as possible um, sometimes people deal with losing a job and so you may not find a job immediately. You don't want to have to rely on family members or credit cards to get you through that tough time. So when you get to a point of having a fully funded emergency fund, then you can dip into your emergency fund until you get a new job. But for those of us who have not finished Baby Step 2 yet, and you just have your mini emergency fund of $1,000, that comes in handy as well. An emergency fund in general is security. It's our safety net. If we have any unexpected expenses, we can use our emergency fund to help us during that time. We don't have to go to those uh, payday loan places because they pay a hundred, they charge 175% interest on whatever you're borrowing. We don't have to lean on family members, beg and plead. We don't have to go to um, charge on our credit cards if we have an emergency fund. Emergency fund, like I said, it's our safety net. It's to uh, help you avoid unnecessary credit card expenses. It's also there to help you make wise decisions with your money. Um, when we have any car repairs we need, any home repairs, any medical bills that are unexpected, that is more than our monthly income or our, our weekly income, we can rely on our emergency fund to help us. So I have my emergency fund and that's one of the things Dave Ramsey says to get immediately. Because when you get that immediately, you have a sense of peace. Because sometimes with the credit cards, you're thinking, okay, if I have something that I need to pay for that's over and beyond what I currently have available to use, you typically, or your old way of thought may have been, okay, I can use my credit card. But that's with interest and you end up paying more than whatever you were charging. So to avoid having to even use a credit card at all, you have your emergency fund you can use. And it's once again, just for emergencies, not just, oh, those shoes on sale, I really need to get them. No, it's not for that, just emergencies. So uh, I got my, my emergency fund funded pretty early on. I think I shared that in earlier videos. And it's been sitting pretty all this time. And like once again, it's my safety net, my security net. I know that if I need something, I can dip in there. So I share with you all about twists and turns in my journey and twists and turns have come and it's come to the point of me having to dip into my emergency fund and it scared me so badly because if I dip into my emergency fund for this and what if something else comes up right after it before I'm able to fund the emergency fund again, it made me scared. So you must have emergency fund and if you need to use it, use it just get back on track once you've used it and that's just what I did so I had some unexpected car repair that needed tires had to get a bar replaced I always go in for one thing I said I want to get my oil changed and I want to find out why the tire pressure light keeps coming on that's it that's it and they always give me a list this, this is it my car is um, up in age but it's in pretty good condition so these are things I need to have done at the time um, but I did not want to spend that much money at that time I didn't go into the auto shop thinking, okay I'm about to lay down this much money for my car no but when it was presented to me I was immediately felt overwhelmed I immediately thought oh I could use my credit card like even though I thought about it I knew I wasn't going to but the thought came because I'm still training my mind to get out of old way of thinking. 
since I've started my financial journey, I have not used any credit cards. And I'm so proud about that. So the thought came. Even the people at the, the autoplay was like, you can use your card that's on file. And I'm thinking to myself, no, I'm not going to use it. I'm thinking in my head. And then this person said it again. I said, I said it out loud. I'm not going to use that. So um, I was like, okay, this is a high amount, but I do have the money in my emergency fund. Thankfully. So um, after a little tears, because when, <laughs> when things get intense, that's my outlet. So after a little tears, I was like, I'm so thankful that I do have the funds to use. Even though I don't want to use them for this, I do have the funds to use. I need my Cardi B to get me from A to B and back to Z. I need it to be safe. So I spent the money from my emergency fund. And um, because I have these part-time jobs I showed you all about in the a previous video, I was able to put the money back in there pretty quickly. Um, at this point, it's not fully funded, but I was able to put some of the money back. Um, so I'm so glad I had emergency fund because I would hate to have needed to get those repairs, but not have the money to do it. Because no one is going to give me that money. And I'm definitely not going to go to a payday loan place to get that because that will put me in a further bind. So I'm so thankful that I had the emergency fund, that I was able to use it, and I'm also back on track to get it funded fully again. So this is just one story about the importance of emergency funds. So if you don't have it, as soon as you stop this video, I need you to get a plan together for how you're going to fund your emergency fund. Um, and there's several things that Dave Ramsey suggests. Selling things, selling your clothes, selling your books, things that you don't even use. There's so much money in your home that you may not even be aware of. Have a yard sale. Get the money as quick as you can. Put more aside from your uh, paycheck. Uh, get a part-time job. Get the emergency fund as quick as you can because we never know when an emergency may come up and we're going to need to have those funds. One thing, one thing you can rest assured that is true, we will all have emergencies. It's just a matter of when. So be prepared with the emergency fund. Hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. If so, comment below. If you have an emergency fund, I want you to comment below, hashtag emergency fund. If you're going to cut off this video and go find out a plan how to get emergency fund, hashtag emergency fund. If you have an experience with being able to use your emergency fund when needed and also replenish it, share that experience below. For anyone that comes across this video, I'm sure they want to hear not only my experience, but anyone in the comments who have experiences to share. Hopefully this helps someone. You all remember to keep saving money, keep using money wisely. Peace.